Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to cover the information that was revealed in the newest teaser trailer for Vigor. Before I continue, I should clarify something. Due to the nature of the partner's NDA, Chris isn't really allowed to work on this video, because in his words, it'd be too easy for me to accidentally leak something. So because of that, this script was made by VSL Lupus, myself, and many others who helped in VSL. So thank you guys for all the help, we greatly appreciate it, because it allows us to produce content at a much faster rate than we would on our own. But now, let's jump into this teaser breakdown for Season 10, Vengeance. So let me start off by saying, in case you missed it, Vigor released a short trailer for the next season hinting about what it will contain. If you haven't already watched that, I would suggest you do so now to better understand what we're going to talk about. So I'll leave the link to the original video in the description below. Alright, so first off, this trailer showed us a pretty decent amount of cosmetics, telling us that we can expect next season's theme to be special forces related. First, we have the Frogman camo hoods, which look amazingly detailed. In real life, these are used by the Danish Special Forces, and this will likely be the main outfit set of the new season. Next, we have the outfit of the apparent main character to this semi-story. It looks amazing, and its highly militaristic features remind me a lot of the mercenary outfits of Season 7. And due to the existence of that balaclava, I'm going to assume that this will be one of the outfits which we can freely customize the headgear options. I really like this cosmetic, and the theme of this season is exactly what the community has been asking for. So I can't wait to see what combos can be made with them. This trailer also pretty much confirmed the weapon we'll be getting in next season, as the L85A1, also known as the SA-80. And this British rifle has been a long-anticipated one ever since it was leaked back in Point 8, before the full release of Vigor. It uses 556x45, and has a special 4x SUSAT sight to go along with it. I personally would guess that it'll perform somewhat like a full-auto M16, however, it may have some downsides such as decent amounts of bloom due to its strange nature and the historically negative reputation of its proprietary optic. Really, we don't know how this weapon will perform till we get to see it in action, so from here, let's Let's talk about the lore. There are definitely some pretty strong lore implications in this video as it was clearly one of the main focuses of the teaser. One of the main things bouncing around the lore community for Vigor right now is the lore hunt on the flamegroup.info website. As we can see from this screenshot, there is a clear tie to the Flame Group in this teaser, and if you haven't seen Chris or Sky's coverage of Flame Group info yet, I highly suggest you go and check those out. Of course, both of those will be linked below as well. So on this clip, we have the names of Chronicle Vengeance on the cassette tape, and seeing how Vengeance had to do so much with the Flame Group storyline as presented by the website files, there is a clear connection between that and this trailer. My personal guess for that would be that the Flame Group website publications are from a group traveling through long after the events of the game, and the cassettes they're finding are mostly from this main character, since we see here he's not listening to a tape, instead he's recording one. Also notable is at the beginning of this teaser, we see a short clip of the guys on a red background. These could be the quote unquote bad guys who are the subjects of revenge of the flame group, or people who kidnapped the subject that started the cycle of revenge. But if I had to guess, I'd say the first option is more likely, considering the advanced training and combat experience of the Danish frogmen, and, you know, they're definitely a force to be reckoned with. Moving on from the questions presented by the flame group, we can begin to think of the broader implications of this. With lore becoming a much bigger priority to the devs, I think we will slowly get more and more of Vigor's story as time goes on. This includes the possibility of past seasons or groups getting more added to their stories, and some of VSL's predictions on what this lore may be, are particularly centered around the Season 4 Warlords, seeing as they're so prominent in the Flame Group easter egg process. This also just compounds our information on cassettes, which I would assume will be the next collectible in Vigor that will give us a bit more narrative to each one of our findings. This is all very exciting for us at VSL as lore is what we're most interested in as a group, but for most of you, I'm sure you are more concerned about the first half of this video covering the raw content revealed here. Overall, I think Season 10 looks a amazing, and I can't wait for it to come out and give us at VSL piles of lore to sift through and piece together. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Boba Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.